And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Well, we still have a nasty day to deal with as we head into your Tuesday. Humidity going to be in that ugh territory, uh, but things start to drop off as we head through the rest of the work week and we're going to stay pretty comfortable through your Friday, at least pretty manageable until we head into the weekend where things start to tick back up a little bit. But the big drop off is all due to our next weather maker and that's going to be a cold front that's going to bring at least a chance for some showers and some storms as that area of low pressure travels from the, uh, the Great Lakes to the north and east. That's going to swing a cold front our area and that's going to bring those showers and storms as we head into the afternoon watching three to eight o'clock specifically uh, for the potential force some damaging wind and some heavy rain as these storms move from the west to the east. Here's how it, everything starts off with clouds. Uh, southerly flow going to bring in a little bit of moisture. We'll see some sunshine break through the clouds as we head into the afternoon. And then we're watching that line of showers and storms develop at the three o'clock hour and slide to the east, moving through the city of Baltimore roughly four to five o'clock. Some of those showers are going to linger through about eight o'clock and then we'll see some clearing on the back end and uh, northwesterly flow short and bringing some of that drier air as we head through the overnight hours into the start of your Wednesday. But that strong southerly flow out ahead of that cold front is going to send temperatures into the lower 90s, heat indices into the upper 90s. And I even expect some locations to top out feeling like 100 degrees. So going to be a very unseasonably warm afternoon before those showers and storms roll in and then a nice drop off as that rain super cools the atmosphere. And we're going to see lots of sunshine on the backside as high pressure starts to dominate. We're starting off the morning in the lower 70s, climbing into the low 80s as we get close to the 12 o'clock hour. And most of your Wednesday afternoon is going to be pretty bit manageable as those numbers top out near about 88 degrees and then the seven day forecast shows that the numbers trend down even further Thursday into Friday. Lots of sunshine continuing to dominate the forecast. If you have things that you want to get done outdoors, maybe you want to get the car washed. Wednesday is a good day so that you can enjoy a nice stretch of dry weather into the weekend, but temperatures warm Saturday into Sunday. We're back at 90 as we round out the weekend. And then we're looking at lots of sunshine on Monday as daytime highs top out near 87 degrees and the tropics. Things are starting to heat up a little bit out there. Uh, we've been telling you about this disturbance, this tropical wave that's just to the east of the windward and leeward islands here starting to flare up a little bit, a bit disorganized right now, but as we head through the next five days has a better chance of becoming a tropical depression and a new wave coming off the coast of Africa starting to get its act together. You can see a little bit of a swirl at the surface here, not looking too healthy the next couple of days, but by day five, there's a 40% chance that we could have another depression uh, in the eastern Atlantic. Of course, we'll keep you posted. All right. Thanks, Patrick.